Good morning, modern steaders. It's not quite as warm yet as they said it was gonna get today. It's 22 degrees out, it's not 40. But you know what? We need to get that concrete countertop sanded down. Let's go start the Kubota, let it warm up, and we'll get everything ready inside to come out. Then we can start sanding that. I hope the water doesn't freeze super fast. Keep our fingers crossed. that warm up we'll go get everything in the basement situated all right let's move all of the crates Gina was playing around last night and she antiqued this one put the glaze on it that'll look nice Boy, I sure hope that die comes out. Worst case scenario, I guess it'll be re-pour in the countertop and we'll save this one for outdoor use. But the hope is that'll sand off. We have a bunch of random chicken supplies and I think we can use one of the items in this basket today. Let's go through it. All right, what do we have in here? We have an extension cord, replacement parts, pieces for our electric fence, washers, nipples, cup drinkers, more nipples, egg crate holder. Ah, this is what we're looking for. Apron. Yes, this will come in handy. Let's water our celery seeds. So a lot of the modern steaders keep saying keep them wet. They need light to germinate and they can take a while. So don't give up on your celery seeds. That's what we're going to do. But we need our squirt bottle. Let's grab our grinder and we need our grinding discs and cupping wheel right here. You know what? I think we'll start off with a cupping wheel so let's put that on now. There. You know what's probably a good idea? A pair of gloves. There we go. We'll add this to our pile. And now we'll go outside and the Kubota should be ready. Man, I was hoping it was going to warm up some more, but huh, that's all right. The sun's out.
This might be fun trying to figure out how to get it on the bucket, but. Get a ratchet strap to help us out. There it is. Up and through. I think this will work out nicely. Fingers crossed. Well, I'm glad that worked out. You know what, this is gonna be perfect for grinding. Do the right height, if it's too high, I can lower it. Man, I love my Kubota. I don't think there's anything I can't do with it. And a ratchet strap or two, yeah. All right, I was gonna go to the upper driveway and do it, but the road's pretty icy and bumpy. So I don't know if this will stay. Oh, it's not going to go anywhere. Let's take a chance. We'll drive it up to the upper driveway. We'll go slow. And we'll set up up there. Here goes nothing. We got all of our tools loaded up. Fingers crossed. made it. Now we just gotta see if we can get the writing off. <laughs> I hope it comes off. But hey, this might make a good table for the outdoor kitchen if it doesn't come off. We have to paint it because I wouldn't want to look at Lowe's all the time. Last time we sanded a concrete countertop was the kitchen island one. We did that inside. Whew. I'm glad to be sanding concrete outside. That was a mess. Man. If you haven't seen us building our first concrete countertop, I'll put a link to that playlist right here. Whew, I almost forgot my earmuffs. That thing gets pretty loud. That would not have been good. I guess we gotta put our apron on first. This thing's like a dress on me. Okay, it'll keep me dry from head to toe. Make Gina happy, it'll make doing the laundry easier. My pants won't even be dirty. All right, let's see if we can get this dye off. I wish it was 40 degrees out like they were calling for. Man, I wish I was a weatherman. Never having to be right.
it's really nice because it's blowing all the dust that way. I'm liking that. This is going to be nice. Slide it up so that we can grind the edge better. One thing I will say is this one's a lot more pitted than last time. Last time we got the concrete a lot wetter. All the experts in the comments were saying how we messed it all up and that's not the right way to do it. So this time I kept the concrete thick and I should have kept it wetter. Next time I won't listen to the experts and I'll do what works best for us. That's one thing I've learned. There's always so many different ways to do different things. Find what works for you and stick to it. Now I'm going to switch it up to some other grit sandpaper. I'll come back once I have it all sanded and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll wash it down. There, we finished it up sanding it down with a 200 grit. Now I got to go find a brush. We'll wash it down, scrub it, and we'll get all the concrete dust off of it. Get it back in the basement and let it dry out. Yeah, this is going to be nice. Concrete dust is some nasty stuff.
There, I like that. That looks nice. I have an idea for a different finish on this one than what we already have on our concrete countertop on the island. This one we're going to be writing on and we won't be using food on top of it. So we're not going to do the tongue oil. That's going to be awesome. Now we got to get it back in the basement. I think the worst part about today was standing on the ice. The balls of my feet are frozen. I like this. I think Gina should be happy with it. Got to tighten up that ratchet strap. We can't do anything on the finish until it finishes drying. That's going to be a few days in the basement. That wood stove will dry that off nicely. Alright, let's see if we can get it back into the house without damaging anything. There we go. when you're doing projects like this. Doing it on the ice isn't any easier. quite the project. If you haven't already subscribed, now's a great time to do that. Go down and hit the subscribe button and while you're there, ring the bell. That'll turn on notifications and let you know every time we upload a new video. This is going to dry out. I got a couple of ideas for a finish on the top. Me and Gina will have to chat about that and make sure it's the finish we both want. But this is going to make a great desktop. I'm looking forward to it. The file cabinet is done, the core bell is mounted, we just got to let this dry and then put the finish on it and we'll have a desk! That just pumps me up. We've been waiting two years for this. Actually longer than that, ever since we designed the house. And then when we built it, we had a desk, a built-in desk like this in mind. We just haven't done it yet. Thanks for coming along on this journey with us. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency and freedom. Bye.